<laughs> uh, so, so we have about 12, maybe I could stretch it to 15, and, and I can go through it and keep it at a high level. In the next section, mm -hmm. we can, next time we do this, we can do a drill down, mm -hmm. if that works for you guys. Mm -hmm. That way it gives you just a, a really good overview of what we're doing. I, I've got a lot of experience in the performance side, so I can answer questions as well, but I just want to be respectful of the time for you guys and, and everything. So I'm supposed to reintroduce myself. Hi, it's Stephen Shalita uh, with Pluribus. We're going to talk a little bit about the Pluribus networks analytics capability that are built into our adaptive cloud fabric architecture. This is meant to really give you a high level view and, and, and I can answer specific questions, but we didn't build this out to go into deep detail because it's a session unto itself. And I know you'll, you're talking to at least one other analytics company and, and, and wanting to get into the level of details. We just don't have the time to do it justice. We talked about our Pluribus Unum platform and, and we've had analytics capabilities now for about 18 months. And it really is a unique capability because it's not just looking at basic network functions and basic capabilities of how are the switch ports operating in that. We're really looking at, at, at performance metrics and generating metadata from the network itself. And the way I like to characterize this to kind of put it in context is when you look at network monitoring today, the typical architecture is centered either around probes or levering th leveraging things like NetFlow data. And you have limitations when you're looking at monitoring architectures. Probe, packet flow, packet-based data gives you the richest insight into everything that's going on, but the challenge is where do you instrument? Where do you monitor? How do you get access to the data? Do you build a packet broker layer on top of it? Our strategy is very simple, to really change the whole notion of pervasive visibility to give you monitoring across the entire network from every single port and really going to an extended level of monitoring. Yeah, we have NetFlow, we have SFlow capabilities, and then you have the notion of enhanced flow, which a number of different vendors have, have different terminology towards, but building that flow capability into the network. The second challenge of monitoring networks today is speed. Most probes, and there are some probes that are coming out that are running 100 gig and 40 gig, but for the most part, most probe technology is 10 gig, and you're not even getting wire speed out of that. So what we're able to deliver is monitoring across the entire network at the speed of the network. If you're running 100 gig ports, you're able to get 100 gigs worth of data flows to be able to understand what's going in the network. And the way that the architecture is built is we're seeing every flow, every transaction, everything that's crossing the network environment. So you get visibility into north-south, which is the typical probe model, but also deeper visibility into east-west traffic environments. So within that capability, think of the traditional use cases of performance management, right? Real-time network operations, whether you're dealing with real-time troubleshooting, historical forensics and troubleshooting, the typical operational view of how do I run and manage this network? How do I look at application uh, implication? How do I look at the impact of the network and the network services on application and service delivery? But also at the operational intelligence level, capacity planning, policy identification, policy definition parameters, being able to tune, validate policies that you've rolled out, as well as what is increasingly understood around the security use case and being able to identify things that are happening in the network that represents potential anomalies that can be uh, um, r really early warning to things that are happening from a performance perspective. There's a huge correlation between performance deviations and variations and abnormalities to security risk and zero day attacks that the traditional zero day or, or se traditional security systems don't see, right? Signature based and, and so on. So there's many variations in that, but being able to leverage all these capabilities from the, from the data that's delivered. So simple architectural view. Got a typical network looking at end-to-end. -end, how do we deal with all the transactions and the interactions across the network? More of a logical view rather than a specific view. You've got switches sitting within that and, and in the pluribus enabled switches, we're able to see all of this traffic end-to-end -end and deliver that up. So the switch becomes the probe. And in some cases, you can use the switch as a probe. So I could take a 48 port, 100 gigabit switch or 32 port 100 gigabit switch and I could deploy it as a probe and monitor 32 segments. I've got it sitting running in the network as a functional network switch. I'm able to deliver traffic visibility. And when I say visibility, not like a packet broker uses that term, monitoring data, metadata from all of the traffic that's traversing my ports. We deliver that across the network at 
what we call embedded telemetry, and so this is enhanced flow-based data, right? It's looking at flow level metrics. We also have packet data, which in a future discussion we can go, real packet monitoring, doing packet parsing, generating metadata from layer four through seven packets. We will be able to take that same packet data that we put in the switch, deliver it as a probe that you can deploy into the network to critical monitoring points that you need DPI functionality. We've also taken the same telemetry capabilities in the switch and we've built that into a vProbe that you can deploy in a, v a VMware server and get consistent visibility into the hypervisor on a segment by segment basis and be able to correlate the traffic from the network up into the actual traffic that's crossing the hypervisor. Inside Analytics is the platform that, that we use to deliver this capability, and it's a full-fledged performance management, performance monitoring platform. There are absolutely variances between what different vendors can provide, and we can have that conversation at, at, at a fairly detailed level, you know, of what NetScout versus Riverbed versus ExtraHop and the kinds of data that they're providing, but we're able to deliver the flows, the connections, the application visibility in the network. So we've talked about the use cases, but we've also already built into it a number of integrations and knowledge. So for example, on the right, Aruba ClearPass, we're able to see identity location information, bring that into the network so we can actually look at, at a monitoring level, what's happening with the users, what's happening at the endpoint, and correlate that information. We can do similar integrations with Office 365. In an HCI environment, we have deep integration in Nutanix, where we can see the entire Nutanix interaction of what's happening in a hyperconverged stack to be able to look at performance characteristics. So really, it's about getting the deep visibility into what's happening in that service delivery flow, so you're able to understand the performance characteristics and how it's impacting, ultimately, the user experience. So today, in what we're delivering from a data source perspective, you've got complete flow visibility on all switches that are NetVisor enabled. You've got the ability to drop the vProbe into a VMware server, and the consistency of metadata of what you're able to see is the same in both of these environments. Plus, any switch in the network that's generating S-Flow, NetFlow, and that's going to continue to expand to be able to do a whole range of what I define as machine data. If I look at the big picture of, 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 uh, of data sources, machine data being um, um, log files and other types of, of, like Splunk is consuming machine data in a broad sense, we'll be able to come into that and we'll be able to provide this correlation of, of visibility across the delivery environment. At the switch level, it, the telemetry is physically built in at the NetVisor um, operating system. So the telemetry is built in at the, at the Linux kernel level and it's seeing all of the traffic coming in and out of that switch. Are you able to go below your vendor's SDK, question and registers and more in-depth data or you're just using something like broad open view and this kind of stuff? T today it's at the higher level of what it's looking at. And, and, and you're really pulling, again, I use the term enhanced flow without getting into the detail of the metadata. It, it's, it's, are you familiar with AVC from Cisco? Mm -hmm. The application visibility control, things like a live action or someone is going to use. It's, it's similar to the AVC level data, right? Whereas AVC is doing some URL mapping and things that we're adding and, and extending within the platform, but the data is, is pretty rich. I mean, it's at the level of Kentech, which I don't know if you've done or going to do, that the data that they're pulling and, and consuming, right? Because Kentech is, is pulling, basically pulling NetFlow, the data that's available in the switches. We've got enhanced data that's coming from these ports that's giving you actually even more context, right? And then we're consuming that data into the analytics platform. So really what you have today, in, and this is a, this, again, this is probably a whole session, because you have SDN vendors and you have packet broker vendors and say, I can give you data, I can do monitoring, and they're really looking at small little bits and pieces, right? They don't have an analytics platform that gives you full-blown performance management capabilities, the ability to consume this data. And again, in the previous slide that I showed, I've got to be able to consume from existing network devices or it's laughable, right? I come from the performance management space. If a network vendor says, I got a management platform that can monitor my network, but I can only monitor my switches, it's like, ha ha, right, what about all the rest of the switches that are already in the network? And so you've got to be able to consume this data from the, the server environment and from other devices 
to be able to provide meaningful insight at a performance perspective. So what we focused on is building here at the platform level the ability to create metadata. And it's important to identify that the goal is to make that metadata consumable by other platforms. So deliver it out on IP fix so it can be consumed <coughs> by someone else. Splunk, if Kentech wanted to consume and bring the data. NetScout, someone can take this data and apply it to their rich analytics platform. But at the same time, the goal is to deliver rich analytics that are compelling to the customer. And every customer that has seen this is, is wowed by the capabilities. Not because it's a million times better, it's affordable. It's built into the network. They're able to get the value from it immediately and it's usable. It provides meaningful real-time insight that they can take action. Right? So that's really the key. And then bringing in the packet analysis capability, we've got the virtualization of this box. This box can be a probe for metadata or, or, or enhanced flow. It can be a probe to do packet, and it can be a packet broker and deliver the packet broker functions and deliver to other tools in one single box. That's because of the virtualization we can do. So I can build this whole functionality that just increases the value of the platform with no impact on services. As I turn the monitoring on, it's not like NetFlow on a Cisco campus switch where you've got to choose which services you want to turn on and how it's going to impact performance. It's delivered at wire speed. So it's a, it's a very impressive way in which we're able to, to, to augment and build out that environment. And I mentioned the excitement of customers, 95% of all deployments have turned on the analytics capabilities. It's that valuable to them. If it is free lunch. Well, well they're, they're going to buy the analytics platform. <laughs> it's, it's not... But the, but the instrumentation, which yes. is the biggest expense in any monitored network, right? Millions of dollars for probes, is free, right? You buy a fabric license, instrumentation is there. All you're paying for is the analytics and the seats to be able to support consuming the data. So it's, it's, it's very, very affordable. And I think you understand the notion of taking the meta data engine and putting that into a VMware environment, right? It's consistent with what I'm seeing in the network. I'm able to see all of the configuration and, and, and use information and again, correlate it from the network. And the key is consistency of data. Many people who do a virtualized probe, and, and I'll mention I was launched the first virtual probe in the market many years ago in 2009, many people, it's a different set of data that's provided from the VMware environment versus what's provided from the network. Here it's completely consistent. And with all the integration that we talked about and vports, it's completely bound. All of the objects are bound, all of the information goes into the vSphere environment as well as into our environment. So it really brings all of these pieces together in a very, very compelling way. Plus, as I mentioned earlier, when we're monitoring in this environment we, and, and you've got an NSX environment, you can see the traffic in the NSX tunnels. Steve, do you want to say anything to wrap up? Nope. I think last slide, right, in, in bringing that together is bringing the visibility between the physical and the virtual environment is the goal that we have. And I'll bring the last point, which I mentioned earlier, this with the management capabilities and everything we've built is the ability to pull together the true capabilities of delivering intent-based networking so that the network understands what's going on and can adapt and adjust itself to be able to support changes in an automated way.